Alright guys, so today we are doing upper and lower oil pan gaskets as you can see. This thing is covered. Covered. And when I mean covered, I know it's hard to see. Completely covered in oil. This is a truck at work, and literally I've been here a year. And when I first started, I told them this truck was leaking like crazy, and they continued to wanted to run it and run it and run it and run it. And it's been a, it's been a year. I mean, honestly, it's been a year and a couple days, and I'm barely now being able to do this. I mean, there's. There's a backstory behind all of this, but as you can tell, I'm surprised that this damn truck never caught fire. I mean, look at the look at the brake calipers. The dust covers are covered in oil. The rear diff is covered in oil. Under the truck, the frame, def tank is covered in oil. Up here on top, look at all that. That is insane. And they kept wanting to send it out. I mean, look at this craziness. So anyway, I mean, you can see it's just everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so I'll probably do different parts on this. Um, I just got it started a little earlier today. Uh, so far, I've pulled the front drive shaft just to get it out of the way. I pulled the rear drive shaft luckily this is just the bolt-on so you don't have to mess with the, the slip yoke and all that stuff this just kind of stays on there um, so I pulled that rear drive shaft off front drive shaft off I already drained the coolant I drained the oil as well um, I pulled off Excuse me here guys because there's no way you're putting this truck on a lift. It's a uh, it's a bucket truck. But I went ahead and already I pulled the uh, starter came off. You got three bolts. One that goes to the transmission bell housing, another that's right on top of it, and then at the very top of the starter, you got another one there. Oh, that one's not too hard to get to. Um, so I just have the starter laying down right there. The batteries are disconnected, so I'm not worried about that. Um, five eight millimeters, that top right corner is going to be a eight millimeter nut with a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter stud behind it. Um, as you can see, there is the oil filter housing and it looks like you got two. Maybe a temp, maybe a pressure. I'm not too sure on those two, but you got those two sensors that fit. On there, you gotta unplug. You can either use your pit cock, which is located right there. I know it's hard to see. And I don't have the light with me, but your pit cock is there. You can see a little drain nipple right there. Um, but I just use the use the center radiator hose which is right here basically pull the clip out separate the hoses and it'll drain you do it slow enough you won't make a mess and get coolant everywhere so i'm gonna dig into this a little further i got the dry shafts off got the um, oil filter housing off uh, batteries disconnected, oil drained, coolant drained, remember that. And um, that's about it for now. Oh, when I drained it, I think I only had what, eight quarts of oil. Yeah. So these guys really know how to take care of their how to take care of their equipment. But anyways, guys, I will update you further when I get a little bit more ahead on what I'm doing. Alrighty.